Hello, my name is Harold York. I'm a research scientist in Pasadena, California, and I want to talk about uh, theoretical physics science projects. Theoretical physics is a branch of physics that uses mathematical models and abstractions to uh, study natural phenomena and also to make predictions. This is in contrast to experimental physics that uses experiments to study natural phenomena. Normally, uh, these two have to work hand in hand in order to advance science. You need the theory to connect the dots, to show what the experiments are showing, and to make new predictions. And you need the experiments to test theories and maybe even disprove them so that the theoretical physicists have to work a little bit harder. Now, normally, normally your science projects are experimental physics science projects. You construct something, you do an experiment, and uh, you get the result. And you might have a little bit of theory when you explain the results. But a theoretical physics science project has to use a mathematical model. And it could be a little bit difficult. So this is not for the faint-hearted or for those who have difficulty in uh, doing math. So some examples of theoretical physics uh, math problems or, or science projects would be um, a theoretical model of a tsunami. So you construct a wave equation for water and you solve it. It's not an easy thing to do. Or maybe a little bit simpler would be to solve the wave equation for the vibration of a, a violin string. Again, that's a wave equation. A third project might be uh, if you have a copper wire and you stick one end into a fire, how long will it last before your fingers start burning and you have to let the wire go? You can solve that with a mathematical model. Again, these are not for the faint-hearted, so if you want to embark on a theoretical physics science project, um, good luck. Thanks for watching.